Okay, here we go. Welcome to your new Apple laptop. This is going to be a uh, tutorial on downloading the browser. A browser is like your Internet Explorer. You know that, right? We're not going to use Internet Explorer at KIS. We're going to use Firefox, and you will see why. So the first thing that you want to do is open the Apple browser, which is called um, Safari, and go to this website. M-O-Z-I-L-L-A dot com, Mozilla dot com, and go ahead and just click enter. Because we're going to download a browser called Firefox. There it is right there. Now, before you click a button, listen to me. Make sure that this little button here says English. If you get uh, the non-English version, sometimes it just automatically goes to the Korean version. Then you have to start all over. So click on it after checking that it's English. It's English, right? Good, go. Now the uh, download browser just opens up and it shows you that Firefox DMG. DMG is a program file, by the way, like um, an execute file in Windows. .exe. So a DMG is the Apple version of, of that. So we're downloading that. It's going to take about four minutes. It tells me that right there. So I'm going to pause this tutorial until it, it finishes downloading and see you in a minute. Bye. And OK, I'm back. Now you see that the uh, download is almost finished, so th uh, the computer is just asking you if you want to let this program in. Just click Continue, and there you have it. OK, now Firefox is just asking you to accept its terms, so click Accept. And here, be careful. Don't click on this yet. Drag it and drop it. That means hold down on your mouse with your regular click, hold down, and drag it into the application folder. And then just let go of your mouse and drop it. Okay? Dragging and dropping. Very simple. Now that you've got it, just go ahead and double click it and open it up. And we can close this window now. And we can close this window now. And here comes Firefox. Now it's in Korean. So we'll fix that later. Right now go to the Mozilla.com page again. Because now you're going to download a lot of add-ons that give you a lot more power. You see on that page, underneath that box that says download, new Firefox add-ons. So click on that new Firefox add-ons. And I've got a list of a few of the hundreds of add-ons that are useful for you as a student. So let me look for the ones that we want you to use. In the search box up top, Let's just search for one called Digo. D-I-I-G-O. Click. And there's our Digo, so click on that link. And scroll down until you see Install Now. And click Install Now. Okay, it says restart the computer, but we don't have to do it yet, so just close that, because we're going to put on some more add-ons. Go back to your search button there, and the next thing I want you to type in is PDF Viewer. You know those Adobe Acrobat files, those Ado Adobe Reader files? This is a good way to not have to open them, save them to your computer to look at them. So click Search, PDF Viewer, click Search. Uh, that didn't help, so let's just get rid of the uh, viewer and just type PDF. There we go. PDF download. Click on it. That one beneath it looked pretty interesting too, it would, but we don't need that. And click install now. Install now. And we don't need to restart yet, so just close that. 
the next one that we want to do is really cool. You'll like this one. It's called Cool Iris. C O O L I R I S. This one gives you X ray vision. You don't have to actually open uh, a link to see it, you just hover over it. So there's Cool Iris Previews. Go ahead and click it and install now. Click install now. And you know the deal, we don't have to restart yet. <coughs> now, let's go back to um, the recommended add-ons page. That's all I'm going to tell you to add on right now, but I just want you to notice that there are s really hundreds of add-ons. Dictionaries, search engines, um, and other things themes if you want your own special look for your for your browser. These are the ones that they recommend. Oh, let's do answers. Go ahead and click on answers. When you're reading anything online, if you hold down uh, a key and click on the word, answers will just give you a pop-up definition right away. So it helps you for any hard vocabulary. And we don't need to start. Let's go back to the recommended page. Now, you know the good one. You might want to look at that. Stumble upon is a fun one. It helps you find websites related to what you're looking for um, that other people have thought were good. I like web developer because I like to play with website design. See, I'm having to set up my new computer also. So I'm going to click Install Now for Web Developer. You don't have to do that one. And now let's go ahead and restart Firefox. You see right there? Restart. Now you see on your Firefox, you've got a lot of new things. You've got the Digo toolbar here. Um, this is the Web Developer thing and all that. Now, if you don't want all this clutter here, go to view, no, oh, sorry, you got to click on Firefox up there, and now go to view toolbars, and just unclick the ones, like I don't want to see this web developer toolbar. View toolbars, for right now we don't need to see the Digo toolbar. I'll teach you that later. And there we are. Now, so now let's start making our uh, website home. I use Gmail, and you're going to use Gmail too, I think, for school. So I'm going to go to my Gmail, and I'm going to bookmark it and show you the bookmarks toolbar folder. So let me sign into my Gmail account. It asked me if I want to remember it, and I do want to remember it. So now, um, I want to bookmark this, so I'm just going to right click and bookmark this page. And here's where it's, it's kind of fun. You can have a bookmarks toolbar, so you don't have to go to all, of, uh, all the way up to bookmarks. There'll just be a toolbar across the page there. So I want it in the bookmarks toolbar folder, but I'm going to make a folder for that called email, because I have a few email accounts. Click OK and my Gmail is now in my email folder. And you can see right there, I've got email. Uh, I also use Yahoo, so I'm going to do my Yahoo. And I'm going to bookmark that. And I'm going to put it in my email folder. Okay, so let's see. I don't want all of these tool uh, folders here. I don't want Yahoo or eBay or Amazon or even latest headlines. You might want to keep latest headlines. I don't want get get started. So I'm going to go ahead and clean that up. I'm going to organize my bookmarks, and I'm just going to click on getting started. Delete that. I'm going to click on. Amazon, hold down the Apple key and click on eBay, click on Yahoo. I don't want any of those. I'm going to delete those. And so that I don't want news. I'm going to delete that. 
So that looks pretty good for now. So now you see how clean that is. I got latest headlines. By the way, if you just click on that, you see that this is all the latest news headlines in the newspapers. There are some links to apples that are Apple that are pretty good to to notice if you want to keep those because you can download a lot of free stuff. So that's that. Now let me show you Cool Iris. Say I want to see what's in this inbox. Now watch what happens when I hover over it. Do you see the little blue um, window that just sort of like comes up next to my inbox screen? If I hover over that, watch what happens. Here's my Cool Iris. X-ray vision. Whoa. Let's go back to it. So there's my cool iris. As long as my mouse is over this little cool iris preview box, then it won't leave. But as soon as I take my, my mouse away, it'll disappear. And you can scroll and all that sort of thing. You can resize it. All right. And then you haven't really opened the window, so just go away from it and it disappears. All right, so that's cool iris. Um, that's enough for now. We'll be back with some more things, of course, as we get you at home on your Apple so that you speak both Windows and Apple, and won't you be cool. Thanks for playing. Come back soon.